Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So in this uh, short video I will demonstrate how to use um, Render deployment platform to deploy uh, and go live with a simple Flask uh, starter. Uh, the starter used in this uh, demonstration is open source, can be found on, on GitHub and uh, the permissive MIT license allows you to with, use the code and or uh, incorporate the sources in your, in your project. All the steps uh, followed in this demonstration are already documented on, on, um, in our uh, documentation system, so th there is a, a dedicated page that explains step by step all the things I will uh, do in the following minutes. So, in case um, you need to review all the steps, uh, just access this page, which is available here from the from the product. So, let's go. Uh, the first thing, of course, is to um, is to create a new account. So, uh, Render allows you to sign in with uh, using different uh, providers like GitHub, GitLab, or and Google. In my case, I will, I'm using uh, GitHub because uh, all uh, all the projects uh, managed by Appsid are saved on GitHub, so it's quite handy to to import the sources and uh, uh, less uh, we have to to follow up less steps in order to deploy a new product. Okay, I will go here and uh, start the demonstration. I will create a new web service in case you want to deploy uh, products that um, uses a dynamic language like Python, Go or Node.js. You need to choose a web service. Uh, uh, the static uh, sites are, are suitable for uh, uh, React based products or VGS. So, uh, in this case, uh, uh, my GitHub account is already linked to the uh, here, and uh, I just need to, I, I have access to all my, all my repositories, and uh, in this case, I will uh, select the, the project I want, to, I want to deploy from the list and uh, click Connect. Once uh, the new page is, uh, is available, we need to provide a super minimum information in order to go live with the product. I will uh, put here some, some basic information and uh, say a few words about each option. The, the name is basically the, the name of the subdomain used later to, to deploy the product. Of course, you can uh, associate uh, with this service uh, uh, a full domain, so uh, feel free to use it. In in this demonstration, I will use the, um, the subdomain uh, for the for the deployment. Um, slash deploy one two three four just to have a unique name. The root directory is uh, I will leave blank this field because I want to manage all the information from the project. Is uh, uh, it's uh, super simple environment should be Python because um, it's the language that empowers the um, empowers Flask. Here on the region, you can choose the um, location of the deployment servers. In in my case, it's not important, so I will keep the default. The default, the branch. Also, I will keep master. You can, in case your product uh, has uh, multiple branches for tests for other things, you can choose here. To, to use another another branch. So the build command, uh, we have uh, a super minimum uh, bash script, which is basically update the pip and install the deployments. Uh, this is standard in our in our kits, so I will use it. Uh, might be useful when you want to provide the. Um, complex setup like uh, interacting with the database and do some things or process some files it's better to have an isolated script which uh, execute uh, multiple steps but it's okay just to use a simple command or, or none okay uh, the start command is the entry point in our in our application so I will explain the syntax basically 
uh, this uh, this command applies to to this project because um, we have here the app directly which is a package that constructs the WJ object expected by by unicorn so uh, in case you have this name and in your project uh, is named differently so feel free to update this uh, this name accordingly just to, to have a successful build here on the plans I will use the the cheapest uh, version because uh, uh, we it's uh, render it does not allow to deploy dynamic uh, projects based on Python go and other uh, or Node.js using uh, a free tire but this is good uh, we don't uh, we don't have any issue with that now uh, in the advanced uh, section I will add some um, uh, environment variables required by by the application which is the debug flag I will set it to to false and also the circuit key which is uh, requested by by flask All good. Uh, the last um, uh, configuration uh, variable is to is to disable the automatic deploy. Uh, basically, if you keep the default version, which is yes, uh, each commit on the code base will trigger a, a build, and uh, we don't want that in this case. I want to have full control over the over the deployment process. So that's cool. I will uh, confirm the action and uh, wait uh, for the deployment to, to be completed. In the meantime, we can play uh, with the application and use it uh, and start it locally just to visualize the, um, uh, uh, the future app. The starter is super super simple, uh, has no database, uh, no authentication, just uh, loads some uh, product information from JSON files and uh, uh, build a, a mini commerce uh, website uh, using the information uh, uh, from those files and also the payment um, are processed by stripe so the the, the process is uh, fully implemented let's uh, open up the readme file and start the product the sources comes with uh, docker support so you just need to type a single command and uh, the project should be up and running and usable in less than one minute Okay, the build is is still running, so we have time to execute the application in the in the local file system. Okay, cool. So the application is up and running. I just typed a single command. Um, we have here the products. We need to. Uh, provide the Stripey secrets in order to um, have a um, uh, complete uh, payment flow, but uh, it's not the uh, not the case. I will not put the Stripey secrets right now. You have the all this information in the documentation of the product, so feel free to play with it. So the application is uh, up and running in the local. Um, workspace let's uh, go back to render and uh, see how it goes the, um, the deployment the application the platform informs us that the service is live this is the, the URL let's access the URL and see how it goes so looks amazing the UI is, is the product is up and running we've we the product was uh, was live just in less than two minutes so uh, this is super super cool let's uh, update the product let's um, in case we we have a new uh, a new version of the product uh, we've 
the code base was uh, updated to support some some new evolution uh, we we can uh, manually trigger a new build by accessing this um, this interface once we identify the commit from this list uh, and confirm the action the um, render will redeploy the the product uh, i will do this uh, using the uh, i will uh, make a small update here i call products i will just change uh, a label so basically this label I will put another label and force a new deploy latest products okay now we have uh, basically a new version of the app uh, let's uh, navigate to the to github and visualize the the commits uh, we can see here that this commit was uh, made uh, a few seconds, seconds ago. I'll copy here from this control. I'll copy the the commit hash and go to the to the render platform and uh, force a manual uh, a manual deployment. Okay, I will drop here the, the commit hash and uh, confirm the action. If uh, we previously selected the uh, automatic deploy, this step is uh, done automatically by the by render. Um, the sources are watched, and uh, in case we have a new commit, uh, a new build is triggered. You can do this uh, if you, if you want, but uh, in this demonstration, I prefer to to use a manual deployment and to explain all the steps to the to the audience but of course the uh, automatic uh, deployment uh, might be a good solution in other cases okay now uh, the, the platform just pulled the latest versions and um, uh, update the, the live version of the product so we are here so basically we changed this uh, this label with uh, a new one latest products let's update the page i think we need to wait a little bit because uh, we might have some uh, some cache system between uh, between versions and uh, okay so we have the the new label uh, updated this is the new version of the of the app so we just triggered a new a new deployment um, guys thanks for watching the application is super nice uh, looks like a heroku updated for current times uh, it's cheaper has a free tire and uh, we will document all the all our starters to be deployed uh, on this platform and later move on with other platforms like google cloud platform aws and uh, Asia from Microsoft so guys thanks for watching uh, in case uh, you have issues with the with the product uh, you can use here the issues tracker to open up a new a new issue or uh, just access apps and then go to the support page and uh, communicate with us using this uh, uh, using the coordinates provided in the page Thanks for watching, Adrian here from Epsit and as always I wish you all a super super day. Bye guys.